was going on everybody what's happening with y'all today i hope that everybody is having a great day today man good nice pretty saturday outside man the birds are chirping everything looking cleansed in my humble opinion speaking of my humble opinion this video is my five most underrated sneakers in my collection and like i said this is only my opinion i'm gonna I'm a tell why i think each shoe is underrated and when i think underrated i think a shoe that a lot of people had a lot of positivity had a lot of good uh um momentum going into the release but for some reason it fizzled out when the shoe came out it was just like nobody it ain't no it ain't like nobody wanted it but it, the shoe became like oh pass you know what i'm saying like they still sold but the, everybody was like pass like it's either that or it's just a shoe that didn't get marketed and nobody even know what release that was releasing. Or they mismarketed it. Y'all will see what I mean when I get into the top five. I could have made a 10, I could have made a 15 or a 20, but at that point, it would have just been a whole lot of my personal favorites. Number five is the Air Jordan 1 Retro. What the slash top threes, man. And the reason I say what the is because at first, everybody was like, they was going to market these as the what does. They ended up marketing them as the top threes. Dope shoe, in my opinion. And it's crazy. I can't believe people are, I, I mean, I hear a few people actually dogging this sneaker out now. Like, I mean, this was a lot of people's, uh, most, one of them, their most anticipated pickups of 2016. But when the shoe released, it was like, they, now they, they sold out. I ain't going to lie. They sold out in my area. You couldn't get them nowhere. You couldn't just walk in and see a men's. A man's size. I saw some GS, but you couldn't see the man's size sitting on the shelf. But man, it was like everybody was like, man, they're doing a what the one. That's gonna be dope. That's gonna be crazy. And then closer it got to the release, I started seeing little hate comments, little hate comments. And when the release came out, and I mean I'm seeing people all out dogging these shoes, like like clown shoe, bozo. I had to have these. These are dope. Especially the inside. The medial side, man, is all oh, the black. Man, I just I love this shoe. And one thing about me, if I say a shoe is dope when I first see it, 9 times 10, you are never going to see me change my mind. Now, every now and then I do, but most of the time, if I say a shoe is dope when I first see it, I'm a, when the shoe come out, I'm still going to hold hold that uh, truth, man. Number four on the list is another shoe that I thought was going to go crazy because they had been doing it in the past. And bow, the uh, LeBron 12, what the, man? This sneaker right here is one of the best executed what this, in my opinion. Like I said, in my opinion, I know a lot of people is not going to agree with me with that. But when we, when, when people, when, I'm telling you, I pay attention to social media, man. And when these first released, I mean, when the pictures first released with this 23 on the outside right there, dudes was like, I got to have those, man. A must cop. I don't think I would change on this shoe as I wish they would have went with an icy bottom instead of the white. But, man, this shoe is comfortable. It's very durable. Like, it's hard to match LeBron 12s up, man, because of the material that they made out of. But if you look at each detail in this shoe right here, it was very well executed. They not only combined stuff from LeBron's personal life and LeBron's past sneakers, but they also combined just, like, stuff from other Nikes that he grew up liking, history of stuff that LeBron, like, this is, like, very personal shoe for him. They retail at well, $250, which I think is another thing that kind of uh, stop people from copying these, man. But they eventually, I mean, I think they went to some people outlets and stuff like that. But, man, I had to have them, man. I think it's a dope shoe, especially being a Nike head growing up, being in the different Nikes. You can see influences of Griffies and, and just all kind of Bo Jackson's, all kind of old school Nikes that came out back in the day. And this is a very dope shoe to me. One of my favorite in my collection, to be perfectly honest, man. Number three is a shoe that a lot of people, like I said, another, another shoe, a lot of people was giving it positive energy until the shoe release, and that is the Air Jordan 7. Y'all know I had to have a 7 on here. The Air Jordan 7 uh, Tinker Alternate Olympic Joints. Now, it's not even a lot of bad stuff you can say about this shoe. The craftsmanship, no flaws. The uh, leather on it is, man, the leather is super soft and super grain leather on it. It's actually a very dope quality shoe. Um, you got the, the gold lace tips. They gave you everything you would want in a sneaker like this. But I think, I think, and they even got the Nike Air on the side. The, and like you said, all the alternates that are coming out, a Tinker hat feels a, like alternate or original design for the shoe what he was going to bring out. But they decided to bring out what actually did come out, man. So, 
Man, it, 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 it got the new bug. I mean, it's everything that you would like about this shoe. And I'm going to tell y'all like this. When well, this shoe would have came out five years ago, they wouldn't even touch the shells, man. But it's just how the sneaker game is changing with joys and stuff like that. Not understand it to a certain extent, but us real, a lot of us real heads, man, we went, we went and got these. A lot of people who was a, uh, the fan of the original Olympic joints, um, sevens, man, they went back and got this right here. And it's, it's just, I don't know, man. A lot of people say they didn't like the spe speckle or the fade or whatever like that. I think True Flight uh, 7s watered down my Jordan 7. That's just my opinion, man. When True Flights came out and they had the same kind of like outsole as the 7s, you had a lot of the younger sneakerheads being confused about well, that's just as good as the Jordan 7. No, True Flights and Jordan 7s is not the same shoe. This is a uh, retro, man. Coming in at number 2 is a, as a sneaker a lot of people didn't even know released, I don't think. And that is the, I gotta clean these boys off. This is the Gold Metal KD7. Now, when this shoe came out, I got to clean these boys off, man. I got to wipe them down. Where, where did I wear these to? Anyway, then when this shoe released, man, all of the KD7s pretty much had, had released, man. Like, this was, like, around the end of the KD7 run. And I guess people was fatigued with KD7s. I have no idea what happened. But it only came out in House of Hoops in my area. And I think it might have released on Nike. I'm not sure. I keep looking at it because I got to clean this boy up. But um, a lot of people didn't even know this shoe released, man. And it's crazy because they did a... And it's, they did a USA colorway of this, and those was the first colorway to release. Then they turned around and put this gold medal out, and it's like, why, you, why did you have two uh, USA-themed shoes? And like I said, that could have stopped a lot of people buying them. Or like I said, a lot of people didn't even know they were releasing. I took the insole out because they fit a little tight around the top, and I don't even know where it's at, to be honest with you. But you got the stars on the inside, man, the gold around the back, uh, gold lace tips, and it was a premium shoe, too, so I think these retail at $200 when the regular... Uh, KD7 retailed at um, 150 That could have been another reason they didn't sell out right away. I remember being in line for this shoe. And, man, it was like 15, 20 people in line. I was like, damn, I might not get them because I heard they was going to have one size run, which they did. They only had one pair on each side. And um, I come to find out when I got in the line that they weren't even in the line for these. There was some um, 13 GS, some Jordan 13 GS uh, with black and pink on them that they, everybody was in line for. And when I came in, I grabbed these, my size. Actually, I got a size 13, and it looked too long. And I actually was able to go back and get the size 12 because the shoe was so slept on, man. And coming in at number one. A lot of y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know what shoe this is. And it's, I, I, I get sick to my stomach. You look at my review, I was so excited about getting this shoe. But I, you're not supposed to even, like when other people don't like something, it don't really bother me if they don't like what I like. But when a shoe, when you look at a shoe like, damn, that's a dope concept. I'm glad they did that. And then, like, a lot of people get hype about the shoe. And then when the shoe release, people be like, it just be like, wow. And this shoe right here is clearance rack shawty, outlet bound shawty, uh, all, anything you can think of that cheapens a shoe. It is, but I still love it, and I still stand by this shoe, and that is the Air Jordan 7 Marvin the Martian. Now, um, despite popular belief, this shoe sold a whole lot of pairs. I went around a lot of stores, and I asked how these were selling. They said that they were selling really good. The problem is Nike overestimated the hype on this shoe. Um, they, they thought because of the hair Jordan came out, this Jordan 7 hair, they thought this was going to bounce off of that hype, being a Marvin the Martian. You got Bugs Bunny, then you got Marvin the Martian. Didn't end up being the case at all. And and I think one of the biggest things that threw people off about this shoe, because a lot of people knew it was releasing, but then it was like, I heard a lot of people say, didn't this shoe already come out? Why are they bringing out it again? Because they were talking about this one, the Air Jordan 7 Barcelona Knights, AKA the first Marvin the Martian, what everybody was calling them. And when I first seen them, I was like, why would they call those Marvin the Martian? Um, because the colors don't match up. They match up better on these. Now, one thing I can say, if they were to use the materials that they used on that for that shoe and just brought this one out with this same colorway, I think this would have did a whole lot better. This shoe, believe it or not, actually sold out, man. The Barcelona Night and the Barcelona Days actually sold out. Anyway, man, that's just my opinion. That's my five most underrated sneakers in my collection. I know I could have picked a lot of other sneakers or whatever, but these are just the ones that just... They just came up to me. I was like, man, it's crazy how people was hyping, hype certain shoes and get in and, and at like, oh, it must cop, must cop, must cop. But with then the shoe release and they didn't realize that everybody else starting to fall to the wayside. They'd be like, man, I ain't got to have them pass. No look pad. Behind the back pad. You know what I'm talking about? Magic Johnson pad. You know what I'm talking about? Isaiah Thomas through the legs on top of the roof with a donut in your mouth and a slice of pizza pad. You feel me? Like, I don't realize 
It's just, it's crazy having people pass. The one thing I can't say about myself, if I like to shoot from the jump, most of the time, 90% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, if I like to shoot when I first see it, I'm still gonna like it when it release, regardless of what. Anyway, it's been your boy Mike Rich. I hope y'all enjoy videos like this. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about it. Y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this list. And I know it's gonna be a lot of people who disagree with me, but that's why it's fun to go back and forth with other sneakerheads, other collectors, and talk about stuff like this. What shoes do y'all think was most underrated? And when the release came out, people just didn't praise that shoe like you thought they would, man. Y'all comment below and let me know. And as always, man, y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you won't miss a vid and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone.